you babes and ghouls, so today we're gonna be trying to recreate Lily Holland's Met Gala look. And I know it's really old, it's like it's been a couple of months and it was on trend like months ago, but I've been wanting to create it since back then and I just never found the time to do it. So finally today I decided to sit down and actually do it. I'm gonna do the hair later and everything. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get started. I have to apologize because my cat is meowing a lot in the background, so if you guys hear the random meowing and my noise is with my cat, so I'm just letting you guys know. Okay, so I kind of really did like my foundation and everything. I set my face with a milk primer and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sick Foundations and I used the eye primer and primer lids. And that's pretty much about it that I did for makeup. And of course, I set it with powder and things, but whatever. But um, my face is pretty much all set. I still need like contour and blush and everything, but I was just gonna wait for the video and do that. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit. Lily Collins' nose is very skinny. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like exact like replica of her face or like a recreation. I don't know. Like a transformation. I don't know. I haven't really tried it yet, but I kinda wanna contour my nose a little bit because she has like a very skinnier nose. And I'm gonna be using this on Saucer Beverly Hills Rose with Bronzer. I've been using bronzer to contour my face lately. Just like a little bit of it because it's very pigmented. I mean, I could use a contour kit, but I don't know. I just feel like pulling that out because it's kind of like under a bunch of palette now, so. Yeah, I've been just using bronzer because this has been really easy to use. My camera will focus on me. I'm just going to get this really fluffy blending brush. I normally use it for my eyes, but I'm going to use this for my nose so it's fluffy. And then of course I can blend it out. Um, this is an A10 brush, so we're going to get that and just... Okay. in just a little bit and her nose is a little upturned a little bit so I'm gonna try to do that um my contour let me try to find a smaller brush first I'm using this A14 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna kind of contour like a little bit on my nostrils kind of make that area more skinny and smaller and then try to like contour over here to make my nose look more upturned I really don't know how to explain this but hopefully you guys will understand while watching me doing it <laughs> So while this is out, um, I haven't used this in a long time, but I'm using the Lunatic Cosmetics uh, Contour Palette. And we're going to be diving into the banana shade right here to kind of like carve out the nose a little bit more. Um, also, the end of the bronzer is a little bit dark. I should have gone with this palette instead. With this brown the bronzer right here. That probably would have been a lot better, but too late, really messed up. So we're just going to try to go back a little bit and try to fix this little mess in the nose. contouring my face using the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I decided to start using this because it's lighter than what I was using. But um, we're going to be diving into this light brown shade. We're going to start off with the light. Um, her face is kind of squarish. I'm not sure if that's how mine is. Mine's a little bit longer, I think. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's really hard. Um, I don't know. I feel like, I always feel like her face is smaller than mine now. Anastasia Beverly Hills Pink Passion Brush Trio. I'm gonna kind of like dip my brush into like almost every single shade in this little palette. And I'm just kind of pretty much do my, my blush, kind of bring it down here, like how she has it. 
almost like on the apples and my cheeks. Kind of uh, bring it down to like a contour a little bit. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like into a contour, pretty much. Just looking at it. Okay, so next I'm using the Morphe 35B palette. And we're going to be diving into this lavender shade right here. But I'm also probably going to add some light to it because it's a little bit darker than the lavender that she's wearing in her eyes. Um, it's a little more of a darker lavender. But hers is more like a pastel, more brighter. So I'm going to be adding white as I go along um, to like lighten it up. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll work. Okay, so next I'm using the Alyssa Edwards palette, and I'm going to use it for the white, which is called Headliner. I don't really like the white in the Morphe Dark Heavy palette, because I feel like it's not white enough by itself, so we're going to be using this. And I'm going to try, I'm going to apply it like kind of like on the inner corners of the eyes right here, it's like pat it on right here. Not to be too clean or anything, just pat it on, and maybe like blend it out just a little bit into the purple eyeshadow. Okay, so next I'm going to be lining my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. And I'm doing a very simple cat eye liner. Um, I'm also probably going to underline my under eyes as well, like her, how hers is. So that's not basically, I'm going to do a cat eye, and then kind of bring the cat eye down a little bit, down here to like the inner corner, y'all see. And then I'll bring the liner down here in the bottom, kind of line. Pretty much my whole bottom line, but not like all the way to the inner corner where it like all connects. Next, I'm using a white eyeliner on my water lines, and I'm just gonna line them. Okay, next, I'm using Baby Bat Beauty Midnight Mascara, and I'm applying onto my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so next, I'm using the Dark Brown Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna try to make them as fluffy and thick as hers. Um, let me get a picture out. She has really thick eyebrows, so I don't know if I can be able to do that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not like too much of a thick brow lover really, but hers look really nice, so I'm gonna attempt, attempt to do them. Okay, so next I'm using a brow powder deal in granite, and I'm going to be diving into this shade right here. And I'm using that on the tails of the eyebrows on the ends to make it more darker, because mine are pretty light. 
I mean compared to hers. Um, but yeah, so I'm just applying them kind of like right here. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they're a little bit light on the arch. So I'm going to try to darken that up and go over it a little bit. Her brows are very dark. Okay, so next I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Brow Gel. And I'm still kind of lightly brushing on my little brow hairs. And I'm going to try to make it look more like darker and fluffier, just like Lily Collin. Okay, so I think this look needs a little bit of highlighter, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. And we're going to be diving into the shade Ethereal. And we're going to be diving into the shade Ethereal. I think that's a pronounce it. Yeah, I don't know. Correct me on that if I'm kind <laughs> of wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just like literally the third time I've filmed this take. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to freaking pronounce it. Okay, so we're going to be using this A23 brush from Anastasia, and I'm going to be lightly tapping into it. I love this highlighter palette because it's very it has like it's very glittery and it looks very beautiful in the sunlight. So we're just gonna apply it like on my cheekbones. I don't think she wore blush in hers but I'm gonna say screw it and do it. Oh my god that's like a new saying. <laughs> I really want to use my Kat Von D Elkins palette for this look for the highlight. But, I don't know where it went, like it's missing. I don't know. It's weird. Tap some lightning on my nose, can I get some nose highlights? I think we're gonna put some on the bridge of the nose as well, just to make it pop out some more. And then we're also gonna put it on the brow bone highlight. I know her eyeshadow like went all the way up to her brows. Like, it wasn't, like, blended or anything, but I don't know, I kind of just wanted, like, a more blended look for mine. And also, before I forget, she has, like, random, like, little dots on her face, so I'm gonna do that. She has, like, one right here. I'm just gonna put, like, over my beauty mark. Um, I'm supposed, supposed to go over here, but I'm just gonna put it on my beauty mark and skirt. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here, a dot, like, right around there, and then one right here on my chin, so, yeah. But we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner, of course. So her lips are a little bit smaller than mine, so I'm using this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'm gonna apply it onto my lips and just kind of hide my lips just a little bit. Okay, so next I'm using this Max Sheen Supreme Lipstick and Supremely Confident. And this is, I don't know if they even styled the shade or not or what, because this is kind of old, but this is actually probably one of the most nudist nude I have, so we're gonna be using it. And it's almost empty, so I'm pretty much use it up. So I'm gonna apply it on my lip. And next I'm using this Moon Jelly Lip Gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so next I'm using this Shop Mimi Artistry Lashes. And I know I don't have the exact lashes she's wearing, like they're more thicker a little bit. They look a little messy lashes. I don't know. Next paint it, but I'm using these because I think it will look really, really cute with this look. But I just love these lashes so much. I think they're probably like one of my most favorite lashes. I wear them a lot. Um, I've mentioned them all the time in my YouTube videos. So, and also I do have a discount code with this shop. So make sure you check them out down below my description box. I have a link to a shop and also a discount code as well. It is Denise under no, it's Denise five. My bad. Uh, yeah, so I have my my discount code down below and also the link to the shop. So make sure you check them out. They have a bunch of like awesome. Beautiful lashes. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with all my makeup. I'm gonna do my hair off camera and I'll be right back to you guys. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and watching it. I had a ton of fun recreating the beautiful Lily Collins. I love this look. I can't really see the hair right now, but I'll put it into an outro on green screen so that way I can edit the background. Y'all can do, y'all can see the hair in full effect and it's so beautiful. I just love doing like beehive type hairstyles. It's really, I just love it. It's a lot of fun. I just wish it was kind of like, uh, common to do that nowadays because if I try to go outside looking like this I'd probably get a ton of like ugly stares so 
I had to do this inside my house. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe I can do like a little low key beehive, you know, but no. <laughs> I'd rather do the full thing, so whatever. Um, also, this is actually just a piece of white like, cloth that I had just made into a headband. I don't know, I can't find a white headband anymore. I don't have one, so yeah, so I'm gonna make what you already have. I also have some like random, I have some baby's, baby's breath flowers, like playing laying around. I, I collect like the flowers, so I had these, so you know. It's not like her flowers, but it's pretty close. <laughs> so make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me you guys want to see a tutorial on how to do his hair. I mean, I'm not like a professional doing hair, but let me know if you guys want to see like a beehive type of style hair. I've done different types of beehives in some tutorials um, in the past, so and this is one of them. I mean, I think I'm getting better at making like doing like beehives and stuff, so I guess let me know if you want to see how I do it. Um, so let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos coming up. And also be sure to check out my previous videos, especially my awesome ones from Halloween from last year. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, I'll have all my social media handles on the screen and also down below in the description box as well. So that'll be it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!